this is HG Bailey, and I'm not sweating my balls off on Let's Play Diz Gaia! Because, well, that was just a scripted battle. I'm not nervous about that. Either that, or it was because of the uh, air conditioning that I got fixed after being broke for two weeks. One or the other. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you've played this JRPG before, Flan. But yeah, uh, yeah, that first part was just scripted. You're supposed to lose it. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, what if you level grinded enough so that you would be able to win the battle? And that is certainly very possible. You just use level 5-3 grinding, and uh, you could do that if you really wanted to. But... Aren't we already in hell? Now, I've never done it before. Who's there? I've never done it before, but my understanding is that if you actually leveled up enough to be able to win the first part of the fight, you would just win the fight as though it were a normal fight, and you wouldn't be getting all this dialogue here. You would just skip all this, and you'd just move on to the next battle in the storyline. At least that's what I've heard. I don't know. Hey, hey, all right, we got some help from some level 300 guys. You guys don't stand a chance against us now. Sure, sounds like a plan. I'm not going to throw myself into the fire. Or however the expression goes. Yeah, yeah, we, we weren't uh, going to try and overthrow you ourselves. Why aren't they still trying to do that? I mean, it seems like they were going to, but now they're not for some reason. Well, whatever works for you guys. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they just don't want to kill you out of loyalty to your dad or something. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder... Uh, well, if you die and you're already in hell, where do you go after that? The Lost Souls Room? Okay, so anyway, this part is just another scripted battle. You got your guys here who pretty much behave like specialists in the item world. They'll behave automatically, but they're on your side, and you basically cannot lose. I think this is the only scripted battle in the game, now that I think about it. Unfortunately, you cannot simply pass the turn and let your vassals do all the dirty work. You have to send someone out. Probably gonna die, so you might as well send out a level 1 rogue or whoever, because... Uh, if you send out, like, one of your main characters, it'll cost a lot more to revive them. Yeah, look at that damn So yeah, I recommend just sending out a rogue. Whoa. Holy cow. Yeah, just send out a low-level character. That way, you won't have to worry about... Um the cost of reviving them that. Now, one thing that you can't do that is a little interesting here is uh, sometimes your vassals will reduce one of these guys' HP down below, say, three or four hundred. And if that's the case, you would stand a decent chance of being able to kill them with your normal characters. Probably that guy if I really wanted to go after it, but I don't. Uh, if you do manage to kill one of them, even with, like, a level 20 character, you'll gain, like, 15 or 20 levels. It's pretty obscene. And that would really unbalance things. So, I'm just gonna leave well enough alone for now. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to have one of my low-level characters kill them. You get a lot of experience and money for it, but... You know, I wanna maintain some amount of challenge in this game. Oh, I'm making it look a lot easier than it actually is, but... Anyway. Well, thank you. I wonder if they say anything. Well, I want to get on to the next battle for today, but uh, well, maybe I'll take a look at that eventually later. 
Yeah, holy cow. Oh, okay. Why don't they want to be the Overlord? You would think one of them would be next in line after Francesco died. If the prince wasn't available or something. I don't know. But, okay. So, first things first. Let's uh, revive my rogue there. And just move on to the next battle there. Yeah, anyone who died in that first part of the battle, uh, yeah, that's not permanent. So, you don't have to revive them. We've been waiting for you, demons! Oh, no. What are Power Rangers doing here? When the darkness here? of evil draws near, we appear out of nowhere! Like a ring, The though. three lights of justice save the world with courage and hope. Might want to put a little more effort into that line there. Together? Oh, I'm sure they did that on purpose. We are... As far as, like, the voice actors go. The Prism Rangers! Have they ever made Prism Rangers? Like, I don't know, Power Rangers Rainbow Forest or something? I don't know. Please, someone normal come out! <laughs> You're in the wrong game for that, Laurel. <laughs> cool. Hey, Etna, how about we do our own poses? Uh, no. Nah. I don't think that would be a good idea, Fawn. Are you serious? You can pose for me whenever you, you want, though, Juan. I mean, okay, I'm. But I have a question for you guys. I'm more so into the large-breasted women, but uh, you know, Juan. A question. Okay. Go ahead. Shoot. You call yourselves Prism Rangers, but you only have three colors. That's not even enough for a rainbow. Don't they always have five Power Rangers, or maybe six? Isn't it obvious? We don't have any friends. <laughs> Being a hero is a lonely existence. You got it? I like how he just said that as, like, a matter of fact. You Are know? you sure there's not another reason why you don't have any friends? <laughs> you guys are heroes, aren't you? Why would you want to be overlords? Uh, we want friends, of course. If we become the overlords, then we'll have tons of friends. And the Prism Rangers will have all the colors of the rainbow. Uh... I don't follow your logic. Here we go! Blue! Yellow! Transform! Bang! <laughs> Blue! Yellow! Well, at least the one guy who survived has some happening. passion. Blue and yellow have been shot! I can't transform on my own! <laughs> Curse you! Shooting before we even have a chance to transform! How inconsiderate! Curse all seeds! Are you demons? Or wait a minute. Uh, uh -huh. That's another game. <laughs> oh my gosh! I completely forgot about that! <laughs> Is your helmet on too tight? I can't breathe in this thing! You should have transformed first, then come out! Oh, yeah, yeah, that probably would have been a good idea. Not how it's supposed to be. A true defender of justice transforms in front of the enemy. Yeah, I always transform in my in front of my enemies. You know that. Why? Everyone knows what that. Are you on? Of course we do, sir. Then I'll just have to play my ace card. The demons I hired oh. will help me. Is it okay for a hero to be using demons? Of course. Justice must never lose, no matter what the means. Uh. I think so. Blue, but... yellow, your deaths have awakened a burning passion in my heart. What is it with these burning passions uh, in this game? I avoided hitting any vital spots, so they should still be alive. Oh. Thank Evil you. fiends, are you ready? Or Face not. the power of justice! How many demons could he have possibly hired in this battle? Well, anyway, uh, first things first. See, we got these warp geo panels here. And they'll warp you around the battlefield randomly. The way they work is if you're sitting on one of the geo panels at the end of the battle, or at the end of the round, uh, you'll be warped somewhere else on the battlefield to another warp geo panel. And obviously that, well, that may not necessarily be bad, but it makes things a little more interesting. So what I want to do is I want to just sit everyone in the back here because if I try to go up front and charge all those guys in the first round that could end up being really bad for us uh oh uh can we like drop down here good because I need to get out of the way 
Hmm, I don't know how far those guys can go. Yeah, they could probably go pretty far. Okay, so anyway, now that we've gotten these guys spread out, more or less, let's see what we can do. Let's go with a good rapid fire. I love that ability. I never get tired of it. So anyway, you saw how everyone now is spread out, so that'll make it a lot easier for us to uh, avoid getting ambushed by all these guys at once. Hmm. Let's see what we can do. I can probably go after that guy. Okay, let's do that then. Do whatever you can. Try to pick off these guys as best you can. And then stay out of sight there, Flan. I wonder if I could hit that guy from all the way over there. Nuts. And I don't want to, like, go over to him, because then all these guys will drop down and ambush me. Maybe my, uh, Ronin can do something, but... Try to kill as many of them as I can, at least. Alright, that should be good. Yeah! Well, you should be able to survive any of the counterattacks, so should you. As a matter of fact, that may not be a bad idea. Let's, uh, have you kill that one. And let's see. I could go after this one. You do have enough HP, so. Hmm. No, I don't like that idea. Let's uh let's play it uh, conservative. Let's just send you over there. And can you do anything useful? Probably not. Well, you do have the uh Yeah, you know. You do have the evade to survive, but... Okay, we'll just do this and uh, call it a day. For this round. And hopefully they won't be able to kill Flan. She's the one who I'm really worried about with this battle. If we can just survive this first round, we'll be fine. But yeah, they do like to... Whatever happened to my evade? Okay, we're not doing too bad so far. They're all gonna gang up on my uh, Ronin there, which is fine. We can deal with that. Now, you want to deal with all the little demons first before going after the Prison Ranger there. So much for all your evade. Come on, Krona! Okay, well now, you pretty much... Oh, damn, they put a cup, one of my guys to sleep. Oh, wow. But yeah, I'm just going to turn off the battle animations now, because you've pretty much seen everything that matters, actually. So, hmm. What can I do? What can I do? Okay, why don't you go after that one? And, let's see, what can you do? You really can't do a whole lot. What are you weak to? Win? Okay. Sounds like a plan. Probably not powerful enough to kill him, but uh, let's we'll take what we can get. Unfortunately, two of my party members are now asleep, so that's going to be a problem. Hmm. I could go up there and try to kill that one guy, but then I'd risk getting hit myself. Man. Okay, maybe if I just do that. Yeah, yeah, this will work. Now, as long as they don't uh, kill my ninja, well, I'll be fine. If they do kill my ninja, well, oh well. Oh, you know what? Just go after one of the stronger ones since you can one shot them anyway. Just so you know, uh, this LP, I am not, just like my uh, side LP, I am not going for a flawless run. If someone dies in battle, whether it be accidental or, or not, uh, I'm not going to like re-record just for that. This is not a challenge run or anything like that. I, it's not something that's really that important. So I will do what I can, but I'm not going to go out of my way for it either. Can you kill anyone, Flan? No. Okay, never mind. 
Hmm. I think we might be able to kill my... Oh, you can't even move? Can you hit anyone? Wow, that really sucks. Hmm. Maybe I could kill that one guy there. Yeah, they got like three of my guys crowd controlled. That is so horrible. Well, that makes life a little more interesting. I suppose one thing I could have done is... Yeah, they're gonna kill him. Oh, or maybe not. Oh, I forgot about my new thing. Well, we're not doing too bad. Hmm. Okay, well, you go after that guy. Yeah, I could have killed or destroyed that warp geo symbol if I really wanted to, but well, I haven't really thought that was a problem too much. So I'm just gonna leave that alone for now. Hmm. I'm just trying to think which one would be easier for me to kill and stay out of the way of the uh, for that matter. All right. Actually. Might not be a bad idea to uh, heal him up so he doesn't die. Yeah, I'd rather not have to do that. But in this case, I don't think I really have any better alternatives. So, okay. Usually, I just really don't have that much trouble with uh, this fight. All right. Now we can uh, get some business going on here. Let's uh, gang up on him while we still can. Anyone else wake up? No. Oh well. Let's start with that and see what happens. Well, I'll go for a little link on today's episode. I do want to get through this battle. I don't think I'll be able to kill the guy, but we might as well soften him up a little bit. Ooh, we might actually be able to finish him off. Not bad, not bad. Um, hmm. You know, I actually don't want Juan to uh, finish off that guy. I'd like to see if I can get my ninja to uh, do the deed. Because uh, he could still use a couple more levels there. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, there's only one guy left. Oh, okay. Well then. Okay, uh, Laharl, can you throw him, like, all the way up top there? No. Can you just, like, walk up there? Yes, you can! Yeah, Ninja's got really good jump stats. Ha! Yeah! Alright, got him. Well, that wasn't so bad. But will Laharl be able to make it to the heart of evil and proclaim himself the Overlord? Find out next time on the Chapter 6 finale of Let's Play Disgaea! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!